he's got some licks. He's he's can do it all by himself. He can. Hand it off to Lemon with a power O. Yep, kick it outside. Lemon scores. This team is is literally gonna be led by freshmen. Like, no kidding. Think about it like this. Every ball that is touched is gonna be touched by a freshman on our team. What it do, Sponge Crew? It's your boy, King Sponge. We're here with episode two, Kent State Golden Flashes Dynasty Rebuild. I highly recommend you go check out episode one if you haven't already. Yes, we're one and six, but trust me, it's an entertaining one and at least paints the picture of how we got to where we are today. So at the halfway point, I think it's fair to say that Kargman is just not getting it done for us, as you can see. 1100 yards four touchdown passes to 10 ints through seven games I'll give you all the spark notes got a lot of dbs in the recruiting portal that look like studs now we're awfully close in a battle with other schools andre hunter being one of the main guys we're going after he is a gem 79 coming out of high school 96 speed 83 man 87 zone 80 press wowie that will do well in kent ohio Thankfully, Perry Lemon looks like he'll be ours. Nice running back. And then here's our QB that we really, 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 really want to snag. Jared Silva in a battle going up against James Madison. Um, but yeah, he's got the throwing stats. He's got enough mobility to get out the pocket if he needs to. South Alabama Jaguars got the slight edge on paper. Offense for sure, defense a bit closer, but all in all, Jaguars should roll if I had to guess. Kent State comes back with 10 points of their own. I was just going to say, like, it doesn't, like, we can't just accept a massive, like, one win season because, like, my job's in jeopardy. You know what I mean? I can't lose the job <laughs> as uh, we lose anyway. <laughs> 20 to 10, South Alabama beats us, hands us our seventh loss. Talk about a game full of irrelevance. Kent versus Buffalo, both one-win teams. Let's just advance to the next week. <laughs> and we lose it. Come on. We're the worst team. We're 1-8 and eight now. Where were you when Kent State landed their first recruit, 76 overall, Perry Lemon? What a way to get started. And uh, we got a good one coming to Kent. So that's going to help kickstart, hopefully, a frenzy of prospects that want to get their butt on over here. Darius looking like a strong contender. I'm going to throw him the whole wagon. Joe looking nice, but Washington State. Uh-oh. They're going to probably run away with that one, huh? Kent State going up against the Akron Zips. Who will take this one home? Snowy game in Akron, man. This could be a fun one. Kent State, Akron Zips. Let's get it on. Battle for the wagon wheel. Let's see if Kent State can show any glimpses of future for anyone on the roster right now. Did I say I'm going to take my three? Forget it. What's there to lose? We are one and eight. It doesn't get much brighter than this. So let's see if anyone can make a play. Kargman, young man, taking it in with authority. First and goal. I thought that was a touchdown. King Sponge with the balls he play. He wants to keep his job. Gives it to Williams up and over. Tutty. Oh, over here. Whoa. I'll admit. Oh, my. No touchdown. Should have been. What a play. Walker. I was going to say, I admit, I think I hit the wrong button. And it worked out just fine. <laughs> First and goal. Let Kargman cook. He's ready. Boom. Leech. Touchdown. Flashes. Getting something going. Second and ten. Let's go outside. Yes. Poke. Nice little juke. Gets 19. Uh, we're just going to keep it, honestly. Let's lay the head down. Get the first down. Get us to first and goal. It is against Akron, but hey, one small step at a time. Touchdown, Floria for six. And Cardman with 238 and two touchdowns in the first half. End the game. See how we do. Akron does score. But hey, we get stopped. I thought we were going to cash in, but a little too late for Akron. It's over. Kent State walks away with win number two. My man, Jimmy. Welcome to the squad. We have our 1-2 running back punch for the future. Week 12 is upon us. And the Miami, Ohio Redhawks come to town. Another Ohio matchup. Miami is 0-9. We're 2-8. 
Uh, I wonder who's going to take that one. We lost. We gave Miami of Ohio their first win. And Kent State falls to 2-9. and nine. It's pitiful. It's pitiful. I think the best news that could have possibly happened came out of it. Jared Silva is coming to Kent State. We have our QB1 of the future. Yes, let's go. I would absolutely love to line him up with a guy like Eric Lucas here. Um, as we have a nice lead on him, a four-star tight end, 6'4", 252 out of Alabama. Be an immediate day one connection. Week 13, going up against the Bobcats. Once again, another team that's got us on paper. So we'll see how this one goes. Yeah, fitting. We lose 7-24. to 24, Fall to 2-10 and 10 on the season. Is, is it next year yet? I feel like we'll just upgrade Royal Treatment in, in mind for next year, right? We want to give our prospects the royal treatment when they visit us. So those bonus points will come in handy. Maybe we can look at some top stories, see you know, what other bowl games are out there. Anything interesting. Uh, ball State, Boise State, and the Idaho Potato Bowl. So Boise staying on the blue. Um, who's got the New Year's Six games here? Let's take a look. Oh, Penn State, Wisconsin in the College Football Playoffs National Championship. That's in interesting. If you haven't seen my Ohio State sim wisconsin is a team that honestly is surprising to me that gets extremely high rankings and ratings in the sim so uh a little surprising to keep seeing them succeed in a lot of sims <laughs> this is hilarious do you see what i'm seeing after king sponge takes kent state to two and ten they talked it over and they could not be more excited with what i've done here please stay for at least another contract they're willing to offer me a five-year extension after going 2-10, and ten, the worst year in the last four years of Kent State football. They want to sign me another five years. You got it. Definitely can't let him walk. Let's, let ha let's try to get him to stay in Ohio, lock him down. I got to give him a massive, I don't know, at least 5,000 points, like 4,000 points. It's as good of a try as any. So um, that's what we're looking at on our board that I want to see. I'm trying not to glance down there because I don't want to get spoilers, but fingers crossed. Here we go. We land. Yes, we land all of them. Let's go. Joe Clark, Andre Hunter, Eric Lucas are coming to Kent State as well as James Johnson. We lose Jimmy Dickerson to Boise State, but we got Rory Gray, Donald Smith, and a couple other depth folks as well. But man, we got some dogs coming and then joe clark coming in is the clear number one receiving option thank goodness we brought an andre hunter because look at else who we got no one out there i'm gonna convert cooper into a receiver so we can let our true freshman one two tandem get to work early all right looking at our recruiting board it says all we need is a guard and a tackle but realistically we need anyone and everyone we can get to just bolster this team up so I'm going to not be too picky. I mean, some of these guys say seventh interest, but we're going to have to take a look at them. See if we can find any gems, anyone that's worth really pursuing. That DT is worth it. Um, anyone else that's going to really catch our eye? That's what we're looking for. That's a great guard right there. All right, I think the moment everyone's been waiting for. Let's take a look at the new look. Year two, Kent State Golden Flashes. Our new quarterback, new receiver, new tight end, new... DB, um, a lot of freshmen and running back. Sorry, the whole offense just feels retooled. And the offense already in year two looks like a five-point upgrade with true freshmen coming in out of high school. So encouraging stuff. I think this will be truly the foundational year for our ride to come. 2024 college football season is upon us. Kent State Golden Flashes start with the ball. And uh, that's the way we want it. We're going to flash and show off our brand new tools on offense, retooled with four star freshmen. I'm going to help you guys be better this year as he finds Cooper for a 28-yard completion on his first ever play. It feels good. He feels like he's got a nice cannon on him. Can get the ball off quick and hopefully make some good improvising plays throughout the season because he's going to need to improvise with that offensive line and as you can see there's clark lucas and lemon 
all on the middle to the right side of your screen. These are stud freshmen that are coming to Kent State. And Lemon gives a mean stiff arm, 10 yard run. There's our true freshman running back. And yeah, we're going deep. And we scratch that. <laughs> I mean, shoot, Lemon was just meant to be a golden flash. I mean, a yellow golden flash team. Lemons are yellow. Like, it's beautiful. It's meant to be. As we can find Robinson, Mr. Change of Pace back, receiving back, big snag. As Lemon just gets a busted assignment. What a juke. 14 yard snag and first down. No one's open, but Silva's gonna keep it. He's got some licks. He's he's can do it all by himself. He can. Hand it off to Lemon with a power O. Yep, kick it outside. Lemon scores the first touchdown for Kent State in the 2024 season. These freshmen are the real deal early. Um, this team is is literally gonna be led by freshmen. Like every ball that is touched, like no kidding, think about it like this. Every ball that is touched is gonna be touched by a freshman on our team. And wow, we stopped him. Big turnover. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Finds Floria, but that ball just got undercut by Gallman Jr. He's gonna go for a pick six. That started out promising, but ended very poorly. Dropping back. Oh yeah. Mr. Lucas, freshman tight end. Welcome to Kent State. Yes, sir. 60 yard grab. Feed him the rock. Lemon pops on in and over for a second touchdown of the game. Atta boy. Here we go. There's Clark. There he is. Get that man involved. 20 yard snag and a first down. Work it. Yep. That's what we that's what we got you for. That's what we recruited you for. Nothing, nothing. You do got a like, little scramble drill here. I don't know where that defender's going, but Silva layers his head down and into the defender. 10 yard touchdown scamper. Beautiful work. And that's gonna get us that much closer. Silva, number 13, taking control. Did it himself. Atta boy. So let's see what we can do. Yep, Floria for two. Nice. What's it gonna be? We do find Floria making a play, getting us down to the first and goal line. Chewing it down to the final second. Let's hand it off to Lemon. So he gets up the middle for one. Now is when we kick it into gear. We do got timeouts, so I, I am mindful of that. And I think we just do whatever it takes to score here. That's that's the name of the game. As time is winding down, let's just do whatever it takes to score. Finding Cooper, we did whatever it took. Silva to Cooper. Monster game-winning touchdown in essence with eight seconds left. Yes, sir. Puts it on the money for his receiver to make a play. That's ball game. Kent State, Golden Flashes start 1-0 and in the young 2024 season. I do sense some pain in the future. It's not going to be easy always, but um, that's a beautiful win. 1-0 and for the Kent State Golden Flashes, and that's going to cap it off here in Episode 2. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dynasty Mode, Kent State Build. Feel free to drop a comment down below. Leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. It's been your boy King Sponge, and it's been a lot of fun. Stay tuned for episode three around the corner. Peace out. Home. I'm on my way. I'm coming.